Libby Scala, and I'm doing a show called A Time to Dance here at the Footlight Players Theatre. The show is about my great aunt, who was a pioneer of dance therapy, but she was also just a very interesting storyteller. And she uh, had a very unique take on the world and take on her life. So she was born in 1902 and lived till 2001. She was just a very sprightly woman. I adored her because she just had a very um, lively spirit. She wasn't allowed to dance as a young girl because her father didn't think that was proper for a young girl. So there is that whole cultural conflict between dancers who were at that time associated with uh, people who were basically almost prostitutes. And fortunately when modern dance came along, that was this new thing that people were breaking away from the ballet style and doing this new kind of rebellious dance and that was not associated with prostitution so it was okay for her to go into that field from her, her dad's standpoint. But she started very late and so she, uh, when she came to the United States then after Hitler invaded Austria because her husband was Jewish, she began to teach creative dance out of her basement until she realized that she really wanted to go on to do something more important to help people who really needed it in the world. So she started then teaching deaf and um, developmentally disabled, emotionally disturbed kids in the New York public school system until she was 90. Um, and so she was an inspiration to me because she never retired. I mean, she didn't really ever retire. And even when she was uh, 95, she said, Honey, I had to quit because I could no longer demonstrate the moves anymore. And then she does this perfect pirouette demonstrating how she could no longer do the moves.